Welcome, Michel. Can you tell us about the current situation in Syria right now? Well, through our surveillance systems uh, for the polio program, we have detected, um, we have had received confirmation from the laboratory results that we have two cases of vaccine-derived poliovirus type 2 um, in the gover governorate of Deir ez -Zor in uh, northern Syria. Um, two co cases are confirmed so far. There is no wild poliovirus that has been identified. It is a vaccine-derived poliovirus, and therefore we must act very rapidly to protect the children of Syria who are already suffering from the conflict situation there. Vaccine-derived poliovirus are rare events. They can only uh, occur in very specific situations where there are pockets of populations that are not vaccinated. The vaccine, which is a um, weakened form of the virus, uh, triggers a response in the body uh, that creates antibodies and builds immunity against uh, the disease. What can happen in some rare cases is uh, when population immunity is very low, is that the vaccine virus shed by the child who receives uh, the vaccine can actually be transmitted from child to child to child who is unprotected. And in this going from unprotected child to unprotected child, the vaccine virus can actually mutate. And at some point it can become dangerous again and cause paralysis. Um, this is only occurring in very rare situations, um, but um, when, as I said, vaccine coverage is uh, very low. Uh, and this, is, can, this can be uh, interrupted, this can be addressed by vaccinating all of the pockets of children that are not uh, so far vaccinated. And what are the implications of this outbreak in Syria right now? Well, many areas of Syria, unfortunately, are very difficult to access for vaccination programs because of the conflict. This means that many children are not vaccinated and therefore vulnerable to the spread of the, of the polio uh, vaccine virus. Uh, and we need to act very rapidly to interrupt uh, this transmission. This outbreak can be a huge risk to the children who already are suffering uh, in Syria because of the conflict. What is the polio eradication program doing uh, to tackle this outbreak in Syria? Well, we stop uh, circulating vaccine-derived polioviruses in the same way that we stop outbreaks of wild polioviruses. We have to vaccinate uh, massively and rapidly the populations that are at risk, uh, and there uh, we can interrupt the circulation of this virus. The polio program uh, has in the past uh, learned many, many of the lessons that can be, um, of, of what can be done in situations of conflicts of, as in Syria. Uh, back in 2013, there was an outbreak of wild poliovirus type 1, which was interrupted thanks to the activities of the vaccination program. Uh, we haven't had a case of wild poliovirus in Syria since uh, 2014. So this response uh, in back in 2013-14 has helped us learn lessons from how to operate uh, and under such uh, circumstances. Um, again, this uh, circulating vaccine-derived poliovirus can only circulate where immunity is very low. So our goal with a vaccination response will be to identify the, where the virus is, identify the pockets of children that are not vaccinated, and make sure that they get vaccinated as rapidly as possible. We also need to strengthen the surveillance uh, of uh, uh, acute flaccid paralysis to make sure that we know where this virus is and uh, stop it as soon as possible. And finally, Michel, could you tell us uh, a little bit more about stopping an outbreak in these very challenging conditions that you referred to? Yes, there are indeed very difficult uh, situations uh, and security uh, access and access issues in this governorate of Deir Ezzor in, in uh, Syria, where this outbreak is occurring. This makes it very hard and sometimes extremely dangerous to vaccinate and quickly increase the immunity of the children in these areas. However, uh, we have learned through the polio uh, activities in the past how to uh, sort of act, how to uh, uh, implement activities in such complicated areas. We're doing it in Afghanistan, we've done it in Syria in the past. Um, the polio program is working with all partners on the ground. Uh, we will continue to work with all groups that actually want to provide health services to the children and populations affected in these areas of Syria. The goal is really to get the vaccines to all these children as soon as possible. Thank you very much for your time.